Hello everyone, my name is Prableen and I welcome you all to Champions of Akash. The champion that we are going to be meeting right now is a KVPY scholar and she has qualified for INBO and INCHO. From the family of doctors, I would like to welcome Barira. Can we have a huge round of applause and have her on the stage please? So Marida, how's the feeling? Itna acha score karne ke baad abhi kaisa lag raha hai on top of the world? Definitely, it feels very nice. Aapki mama jo hai, to wo she is also an Akash alumni. So she's studied yes. from uh, Shri J C Sir, who's the founder of Akash. Yes, she has. So was she the motivator behind you joining Akash or uh, uh, what all did she tell you? Like it was a contributing factor. Like mama had done her curriculum from Akash, so she was quite influenced by it, and she wanted me to appear for Anthe, and then subsequently I did in Akash. Other than that, I have heard a lot about from my seniors. Mm-hmm. about akash so they mm-hmm. also motivated me a lot so overall it was the curriculum that attracted me to join akash okay so in these two years yes. uh, how has your experience i would say the experience was very complete like it comprised of everything like the academic part was very nice teachers provided such great guidance i had great classmates like the whole environment of the class was very conducive and all of that are promoting factors for neat like all of it has culminated to the neat result everything contributed you come from the family of doctors right so yes, what I... was that an additional pressure or was that of help okay fine i'll do well that was definitely of help like i had from my childhood seen my both my parents are doctors mm. so i've seen them work and that actually motivated me to become a doctor like i saw their life and i was like even i want to have that sort of life so that definitely was a catalyst to my neat preparation other than that since my parents had gone through the exact same phases mm. they knew what all problems i could face so they had me prepared in advance and other than that whenever i shared any problem with them my parents provided very conducive solutions to it so definitely that was a great help okay talking about the credit uh, how much credit in your journey that you would like to give to akash a lot of it i'd say like a student can do hard work mm. but the coaching institute like akash by, plus by juice they provided the way mm. they provided the exact set pattern when i need to work and how i need to work they told me one thing i really appreciate was the test series like we have given so many tests that we know what comes in the paper like the test series teach you exactly what to study there's a lot to study if you begin studying there's no end to it mm. so you, for an exam like neat you need to be exam centered and you need to know what you need to study and what you need to filter out so a coaching like akash teaches you that so that i'd say was a very helpful factor in my preparation if i talk about the, these years of you preparing for neat was there any time that you felt like maybe you shouldn't have continued with this or you should just I keep going i actually didn't feel that at any point in time that i should not continue for neat i remember like we had this test series called uh, revision test series for neat in that the first exam i gave i scored less and i was so demotivated because that was the first time we were going for a full syllabus approach mm. so i was very demotivated after that and i was very shaken like how can this happen if i have been scoring well in part syllabus i ought to do well in full syllabus too but ultimately that told me like i was lacking somewhere so this if any times down happen in your preparation they actually t- teach you a lot mm. in fact i have seen whenever i have such lows in my preparation they are followed by ultimate highs so i am actually thankful for those times because they taught me a lot like right. where were the loop holes in my preparation so that i could complete them before the final exam happened was there any specific subject that you were little worried about how did you prepare for it some particular topics that you thought like maybe you should just yes, skip it there were, were there a lot of like specifically inorganic chemistry there is a lot to learn so it was the last day i was like i might forget this i might forget that so i was like trying to quickly brush up everything but ultimately what matters is number of revisions hmm. i have seen number of revisions and in a short time like if i have a chapter to study like i have 10 chapters to study and i have a week time week full of time so if i study two chapters a day then two chapters the next day then third day i should revise the chapters i studied on the first day so repeated revisions in a shorter time hmm. they enhance your memory it is oftenly believed that uh, you know neat students find physics a little difficult was that the case for you initially obviously i had heard about the stereotype so wo initially dimag mein tha like ki yes physics was going to be difficult for me as a neat aspirant because i don't have maths on my side so initially that was a stigma in my mind and i was very affected so i used to give major time to physics 
but then i saw that that is affecting my other subjects too right. so for physics i think the best approach is to practice daily hmm. and because daily pra- physics actually requires confidence once going into the test if you're confident that yes i can do these questions there's there nothing stopping you you just need to read the question nicely and you need to be confident that yes i can do this and that comes with daily practice hmm. so for a subject like physics i'd suggest that daily practice is required for a, like a set of questions daily mm-hmm. and that's what our teacher is encouraged our physics teacher he used to send us a list of questions every day which okay. we had to do and i followed that religiously and that helped me a lot talking about that many students here want to know like how have you prepared and they have mm-hmm. some uh, questions and doubts mm-hmm. to themselves which they would like to ask mm-hmm. so Definitely. let's go ahead please yeah. please how did you manage your time in the exam and uh, did stress have a role in that So to answer this question I would suggest that you need to make an exam attempting strategy from the start and you need to follow it. So like my strategy personally was that I used to do bio first. So earlier I was doing zoology first then botany but then eventually I found that for me it was better if I do botany first because otherwise I used to at- at- commit mistakes in botany. So I did botany, zoology, then chemistry and then finally physics because often physics questions tend to take some time. So if you have time left then you need to know कि किस क्वेश्चन को तुम्हें कितना टाइम देना है तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फॉर बायो माय बायो यूज्ड टू गेट कंप्लीट इन अबाउट हाफ एन आवर ओके देन केमिस्ट्री गॉट कंप्लीट सम टाइम इन हाफ आवर सम टाइम इन 35 मिनट्स और 40 मिनट्स सो अराउंड इन 1 आवर 10 मिनट्स आई यूज्ड टू कंप्लीट बायो एंड केमिस्ट्री देन आई यूज्ड टू मूव ऑन टू फिजिक्स दैट टुक रफली फ्रॉम 45 मिनट्स टू एन आवर एंड देन आई पर्सनली ऑलवेज फील्ड ओएमआर एट द लास्ट but everyone has a specific pattern for that so i yeah. would never suggest anyone to change their strategy according to me yeah. i would always suggest that you develop your own strategy find out what best for yourself then follow that throughout like the two years because practice is what makes one perfect so you'll eventually learn what's better for you apne olympiads diye kafi sare to aapke clear hue to apne aage matlab kaise preparation ki olympiads ke liye ha Olympiads के लिए लाइक आई वॉज नेवर एन ओलम्पियाड एस्पिरेंट आई वॉज ऑलवेज नीट एस्पिरेंट सो मेरा मेन टारगेट वॉज नीट बट मैं नीट के लिए पढ़ती रही लाइक ओलम्पियाड वेन दूस टू कम आई यूज टू सॉल्व बेस्ट अप्रोच इज प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन यू सॉल्व प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन यू आज डाउट विद योर टीचर्स यू सर्व द नेट फॉर इन्फॉर्मेशन इफ यू आर अ नीट एस्पिरेंट अ सीरियस नीट एस्पिरेंट एंड ओलम्पियाड इज जस्ट लाइक अ साइड गिव फॉर यू देन यू शुड कंटिन्यू प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर नीट एंड वेन ओलम्पियाड कम आकाश प्रोवाइड क्यूरेटेड मॉड्यूल्स फॉर ओलम्पियाड यू कैन रीड दैट यू कैन प्रैक्टिस प्री वाई क्यू दे आर द बेस्ट सोर्स फॉर एनी एग्जाम फॉर नीट वेदर यू टॉक अबाउट के वी पी वाई और एनी ओलम्पियाड द बेस्ट सोर्स ऑफ प्रैक्टिस इज पी वाई क्यू टॉक अबाउट द प्रेपरेशन डन थ्रू आउट दीज टू ईयर्स वॉज देर एनी स्पेसिफिक टाइम वेर यू फेल्ट लाइक के अभी मतलब जैसे होता आया है उसको hmm. छोड़ के कुछ और मतलब वाज देयर अ चेंज इन द प्रोसेस फॉर एग्जांपल सिंस व्हेन यू जस्ट स्टार्टेड प्रिपेयरिंग सो देयर वाज अ डिफरेंट पैटर्न एंड व्हाइल टू वाज द एंड ऑफ इट डिड यू चेंज योर यस आई डिड चेंज माय पैटर्न इन बिटवीन एंड आई वुड नॉट सजेस्ट एनीवन टू डू दैट बिकॉज़ आई रिग्रेट डूइंग दैट बिकॉज़ आई हैव सीन दैट व्हेनेवर बिकॉज़ you are a student you tend to get influenced by others hmm. about about your surrounding hmm. so when you see ki ha that person is studying in this way and wo nayan ci arti khareed raha hai so you also feel influenced and you also feel ki yes if i change i might learn something new hmm. now i did change a few things in the preparation and then i ultimately like as you said in the last 100 days i decided to come back what i do and perfect that only so you should start off with a solid strategy and you need to believe in yourself like what i am doing is the best and chai fir koi kuch bhi kar raha ho you don't need to get influenced by that right that is a major take away from my preparation so your family would have played the major role so from your family we have your father mm-hmm. i would like to invite him on to the stage and have Definitely. some conversations Definitely. with him sir so please yeah thank you so much sir apna time nikal ke humse baat cheet karne ke liye how are you feeling right now i am feeling very happy because she has done uh, nice and uh, definitely मतलब एवरी स्टूडेंट वर्क हार्ड टू हिज मैक्सिमम कैपेसिटी बट मेन थिंग इज द गाइडिंग फैक्टर एंड दैट वॉज द आकाश द क्रेडिट गोज टू आकाश एंड इट्स होल टीम दे वर्क वेरी हार्ड एंड दे वर्क वेरी इंटेलिजेंटली हाउ टू कीप द चाइल्ड ग्रेजुअल परफॉर्मिंग रीचिंग अप टू दैट प्लेस इन टू ईयर्स ऑफ टाइम बिकॉज सम चाइल्ड दे गेट एग्जॉस्टेड just to in year two exam they get exhausted and they feel depressed so what i feel they the teachers of uh, akash they not only uh, did work as a teacher they worked as a guardian they worked matlab our role they also played which we have to play 
as a parents mm -hmm. they also played the role of guardian and parents and everything mm -hmm. and we were uh, they were also in touch with us also they used to guide us mm -hmm. ki how to talk to your child in these phases mm -hmm. what you should talk about to your child and where uh, she is lacking uh, or there are phases in some time when she became depressed and for some certain period of time the teacher called me and they said ki nahi you nowadays you talk on this topic to so how to boost her and motivate keep her motivated talk about virira joining uh, akash so as we know your uh, uh, wife is also akash in like uh, she is an alumni of akash so was there any to and fros ke aap chahte the ki wo kisi aur institute mein jaye and wo chahti thi ki kisi aur mein jaye from the day one my wife was actually uh, a student of akash hmm. rather he was taught by the founder of akash mr choudhary sir okay and choudhary sir taught her and was very initial phase of akash akash was only in delhi hmm. at that time so she got selected from the very first initial batches of akash so our mind was totally decided or moreover when she we met uh, her teachers initially up she appeared in anthe got selected so we had a meeting with uh, teachers of akash so we people were very influenced because uh, we we saw the devotion in them ki what dedication and devotion and rather i have no hesitation to say barira has done two years of akash i have never seen such devoted teachers and such devoted team because we have i have also been through coachings also mm -hmm. i am also cleared my uh, all india medical entrance at that time neat was not there so such devotion i have never seen in any teacher the akash team did it so what will be your suggestions or tips to the future need aspirants parents that they should take care of how should they groom their child how should they keep him or her motivated what are all the things that they should take care of actually what the, the basic thing for any competitive exam is the hard work that that only student can do no parent can help in that but what the role of parent is to make a conducive atmosphere for that so that their kid goes on in only one track get not distracted in the end any message that you would like to give to the future need aspirants because obviously uh, there are a lot of things going on you know mm. there's competition there's internal struggles and then the performance pressure so any tips that you would like to give it to them like Definitely. these are the things that they should take Definitely. care of first of all what matters throughout your two year journey is consistency consistency is key you need to start right from day one mm. there are many students who are not as serious in the starting period and then they become serious like in the last 3 4 months they also make it but for a good score you need to be a consistent performer from the start mm -hmm. from day one you need to study like you're studying for your exam you're not studying for your daily tests or mm -hmm. weekly tests that are happening at your institute you are studying for one exam and that is neat so you have to have an exam guided approach right from day one till the last day you have to study in one way and you have to develop a strategy and stay persistent on it other than that another advice i'd like to give is ki you need to focus on the question paper also mm. like those 3 hour 20 minutes of the paper they make so much difference mm. kitna bhi aapne padha ho throughout your journey mm. kitne bhi aapke internal test the marks aaye nothing matters compared to neat ka 3 hour 20 minutes over the time you learn things and you need to take lessons from everything every every day is a take away you learn something new every day that would be a major takeaway so that will be our takeaway as well that keep learning and keep believing in yourself do not give up thank you so much it has been a great conversation barira congratulations on being a champion of akash thank and congratulations on having your daughter being the champion of thank akash you. Sir. Thank, thank you so much you.